so uh, good uh, evening how are you alhamdulillah alhamdulillah fine Very good and you sir uh, i am also fine and this is our uh, in fact uh, third lecture and uh, we are talking about tropin alkaloids uh, tropin alkaloids uh, a very uh, 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 in famous uh, and as well as famous in, uh, in famous in the sense in our uh, country uh, detura alkaloids uh, the crude detura alkaloids have been used by some uh, you know thief and other uh, cheater uh, to make people unconscious uh, but uh, in medicine tropin alkaloids are very famous they are uh, produced in detura, stemonium, hyo, uh, siamas, uh, pizar, nizar, as well as atropa, belladonna. So today we shall uh, discuss tropane alkaloids and some other important alkaloids. Uh, uh, let us discuss about two very important uh, tropane alkaloids one is atropine and another is scopolamine uh, atropine and both uh, al uh, tropane alkaloids are uh, produced by the nightshade plant uh, and atropine extracted from the deadly nightshade atropa belladonna atropa belladonna belladonna means beautiful lady Atropa belladonna, I shall discuss a little later why this name is like that and other plants of the Solanesi. You know Solanesi plant, uh, eggplant, tomato and they are uh, chili, they are Solanesias uh, plant. So they produce uh, different uh, uh, kinds of mixture of uh, D hyosiamine and l hyosiamine these two uh, racemic mixture of uh, compound uh, which is uh, 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 also belong to the uh, tropane alkaloid and they are competitive they are uh, very powerful bioactive compounds and competitive agonists <coughs> of uh, muscarinic acetylcholine receptors and uh, uh, acetylcholine receptors you know neuroreceptor uh, neurotransmitting receptor they can bind through that receptor and blocks construction of circular pupillary sphincter muscle uh, controlled by the acetylcholine release acetylcholine uh, uh, is a chemical uh, uh, hormonal uh, substances uh, and it is uh, uh, controlled by the atropine alkaloid uh, used as a uh, midriatic or dilate the pupils to make a more attentive and uh, or a focus uh, to focus something uh, more uh, you know concentrate on something uh, these are useful also used by uh, troops troops mean soldiers as an antidote for poisoning by nerve gases that target acetylcholine receptor so in the war, uh, uh, war uh, uh, it is also been used. Uh, very interestingly, uh, it has been used by Egyptian queen Cleopatra. You have heard about uh, the beautiful lady Cleopatra, uh, the Egyptian queen. Uh, she used to dilate her uh, pupils in the hope that she would appear more alluring uh, because Belladonna is the Italian word um, uh, its meaning is beautiful lady that means Cleopatra wanted to show her as the most beautiful lady by offering uh, the atropine um, alka tropane alkaloid to her pupils another uh, you know tropane alkaloid is scopolamine uh, you can see the structure here uh, obtained from a handbane that is handbane means detura stemonium Dutura plant uh, in Bangla and other plants of the Sulanesi uh, as uh, atropine 
uh, it is also a competitive agonist of acetylcholine receptor. However, the therapeutic range is narrower. Its therapeutic range, a drug use is narrow because there are many side effects. Uh, Datura plants contain lots of, you know, tropane alkaloids, but most of them uh, are limited uh, to use in the drug uh, because of their uh, various side of uh, 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 side effects. Uh, this is why very limited use today. Uh, now we shall discuss another two, uh, you know, uh, propane alkaloid. One is hyoscyamine. Uh, hyoscyamine is uh, extracted from the Datura stramonium, wild Datura plant, and other plants of the Solanaceae sea as D isomer. Uh, here, uh, the uh, structure is shown here uh, is a, a D isomer. So, uh, it uh, works uh, by inhibiting the action of acetylcholine in smooth and cardiac muscles, uh, the uh, sinoartria or in, uh, actually ventricular nodes of the uh, exocrine glands. That means it is very effective in our artery muscles uh, or cardiac muscles. And it is used to provide symptomatic relief to various gastrointestinal disorders. Uh, uh, it is a very good uh, medicine for uh, treating the gastrointestinal disorders including spasms, uh, peptic ulcers, uh, irritable bowel syndrome and pancreatitis, uh, colic and cystitis. And it is, it's, it is commercially available as the brand names for uh, you know, Cymex or Anaspas, uh, cysto, uh, Cystospas or Lepsin, uh, Lepbid, uh, Donamar, uh, na, uh, New Lab or New uh, Quest. These are different company, you know, they are producing in different names, but the uh, chemical uh, substance is the same, that is the isomer of hyoscyamine. Another very important, uh, you know, in the historically very uh, famous uh, alkaloid is cocaine. Uh, cocaine uh, is obtained from the uh, coca plant, uh, erythroxylum uh, coca, and this is the chemical structure of cocaine. Uh, cocaine and uh, hyoscyamine uh, structural, they are uh, quite similar, but obviously cocaine has different biological function. Uh, it is a stimulant of central nervous system. Uh, central nervous system are stimulated uh, strongly by the uh, effect of cocaine and uh, it has uh, effect on uh, appetite suppressant. So if someone take cocaine, uh, they lose the appetite. Uh, creating what has been described as a euphoric sense of happiness. Cocaine uh, creates or, uh, you know, stimulate some sensing, sensing in the human uh, to feel the happiness or feel uh, increased energy. This is why in the ancient time, people uh, used this, this cocaine uh, as a, a drug for getting the happiness, feeling the happiness as well as to get, uh, uh, you know, increased energy. For many decades, cocaine was a key ingredient in Coca-Cola. But the Coca-Cola you are taking now, they are uh, uh, probably free from the cocaine. But in uh, the older times, Coca-Cola uh, Coca contains the cocaine. And this is why it was a, an energy booster. When the uh, uh, Spaniard, uh, you know Spain, Spain uh, uh, colonized in South America, many countries in South America, even in US. Uh, for example, uh, you know, uh, 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 many countries like, uh, 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 how to say, uh, Cambodia, Cambodia uh, 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 Spaniard, uh, they colonized there. Uh, they at first ignored the aboriginal 
uh, claims that the leaf gave the strength and energy. Leaf means er erythroxylum cocoa leaf gave the aboriginal people uh, 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 strength and energy and they are taking, they have been taking uh, uh, th that leaves, uh, uh, actually they are taking the cocaine to get the uh, strength and energy. But Spaniard, Spanish people, they didn't realize it and they uh, uh, declared the practice of chewing its work uh, of the devil. Uh, work of the devil, that is devil work, and uh, but after discovering uh, that these claims are true, they legalized and taxed the leaf. So uh, if Aboriginal people uh, uh, wish to take the uh, uh, erythroxylum cocoa, uh, coca leaves uh, to get the cocaine for boosting their energy, they had to pay the tax, uh, taking 10% of the value of each crop. Uh, these taxes are for a time uh, the main source of support for the you know Catholic church in the region. Uh, you can imagine that Catholic church, uh, Roman Catholic church uh, in the uh, region they were supported by the uh, tax received from the uh, cocaine uh, people getting from the erythroxylum uh, cocoa. So this is very powerful and still now you know, cocaine has been, uh, uh, although in most of the countries they are illegal, but uh, they are being uh, used uh, uh, illegally. Uh, here uh, uh, you, you can see cocaine, um, even people used uh, as uh, uh, toothache drops. So cocaine uh, can uh, stop the, uh, you know, uh, the toothache. Uh, uh, and uh, it has been used in very ancient time. Uh, here, uh, Mariani wine. Wine also contains the cocaine. Uh, so, uh, here uh, you can see cocaine use is prevalent across all socioeconomic strata. That is rich uh, and, uh, you know, poor. Uh, all people use the cocaine as well as including the age, different age group, demographics, economic, social, political, religious, and livelihood. Cocaine is, uh, uh, you know, a very, uh, uh, cocaine in uh, its various forms comes in second only to cannabis. Cannabis, you know, uh, in Bengali language, it is called gaja. Uh, cannabis, after cannabis, cocaine was the uh, second, uh, that means you can understand that cannabis is uh, one of the most important drug which has been used uh, by the ancient people. Even till now, cannabis in many countries, Canada, USA, they are legal uh, and uh, uh, they are used as the medicine. Uh, as the most popular illegal recreational drug in the old times and even in current time, in many countries, cannabis and cocaine are illegal drugs in the uh, uh, whole world as well as in the United States. But recently, cannabis is legalized in Canada and USA and is number one in the street value sold each year, 35 billion US dollar per year. It is the data of uh, 200, uh, 2003, 35 billion US dollar. That means much more than uh, the national budget of a country uh, and uh, only in the street market privately people uh, uh, sold this amount of uh, you know uh, cocaine and perhaps you know uh, the very famous you know psychologist uh, uh, Sigmund Freud uh, in 1884 uh, she mentioned that acceleration and lasting euphoria which is no way differs from the normal euphoria of the healthy person. Um, that means feeling something enjoyable, happiness, or like that, like normal happiness after taking the uh, cocaine. You perceive an increase of self-control and possesses from more vitality and capacity for work. In other words, you are simply normal and it is soon hard to believe you are under the influence of any drug. 
long intensive physical work is performed without any fatigue that means uh, uh, boost the energy to do a uh, very hard work this uh, result is enjoyed without any of the unpleasant after uh, effects uh, that follow acceleration brought about by alcohol so it is different from alcohol absolutely no craving for the further use of the cocaine appears after the first or even after repeated taking of the drug but people believe that cocaine or cannabis um, uh, uh, once people uh, started to use it uh, then uh, uh, people becomes the addicted but here it is said you can even stop at any uh, time uh, next uh, we shall discuss how the tropane alkaloids are biosynthesized uh, don't worry about the a very big you know uh, biosynthetic pathway complex uh, biosynthetic pathway but what you need to remember here uh, your learning point that is uh, uh, what are the uh, you know amino acids that is primary metabolites used in the biosynthesis of tropane alkaloids uh, here you can see uh, ornithine and arginine ornithine and arginine both are you know uh, am essential amino acids they are uh, the uh, starting material for biosynthesis of the tropane alkaloids so in your exam uh, it may be asked question what are the starting point of uh, the biosynthesis of tropane alkaloids you see in case of ornithine or arginine in both cases they are converted to putrescine and then they uh, move to uh, you know bios, uh, uh, biosynthesis of various kinds of uh, tropane alkaloids so uh, this is the learning point you must uh, remember that ornithine and arginine uh, these are the two uh, essential amino acids they are the starting point or primary metabolites for biosynthesis of the secondary metabolites tropane alkaloids and putrescine is the uh, conversion uh, first step of uh, the conversion of the uh, you know uh, tropane uh, you know uh, uh, how to say ornithine and arginine uh, let us uh, 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 know a little bit about the trafficking in uh, tropane alkaloids tropane alkaloids you know uh, biosynthesized for example in the leaves and then uh, here you see they can move from one cell to another these are the arrow is indi indicating uh, for example hyoscyamine and scopolamine they can move to the xylem these are the uh, xylem vessel and once uh, they enters into the xylem vessel they can move to from the uh, root to the leaf or leaf to the root and uh, these are uh, these compounds that uh, wherever they are biosynthesized you can find trace of them in the whole plant that means they are systematically uh, transfer from one part to another part through the xylem vessel uh, okay uh, and then uh, we shall discuss one most important uh, alkaloid uh, called nicotine you perhaps know it very well because nicotine is the main ingredient in the tobacco plant found in the nightshade family of plants sulanesi predominantly in tobacco and in lower quantities in tomato potato eggplant and in green pepper what does it mean if you are asked what are the sources of nicotine uh, you may answer only tobacco but not only tobacco tobacco contains in higher amount but it is also present in tomato potato eggplant and green pepper that is all other uh, many other solanaceous plants and uh, you are uh, uh, you already known that uh, tobacco plants contain very high amount of nicotine for example it constitutes 0.3 to 5 percent of the uh, tobacco plant by dry weight that means uh, uh, 100 gram of to, uh, dry uh, tobacco plant contain 5 gram of uh, 
a maximum 5 gram of nicotine with biosynthesis uh, taking place in the roots. Most important point is if you are asked why our nicotine is biosynthesized, the answer would be the roots and accumulates in the leaves. Most interesting point. Nicotine is biosynthesized in the roots but accumulates in the leaves. So uh, they transport it through the uh, gy uh, xylem vessel and moves to the leaves. Uh, in uh, lower concentration, the substance is stimulant, uh, is one of the main factors responsible for dependence forming properties of tobacco smoking. So lower concentration in smoking cigarette, uh, people get the nicotine uh, and it is uh, some sort of uh, stimulating uh, alkaloid and at in higher doses nicotine but in higher doses nicotine is a potent nerve poison uh, and it can uh, even kill the human and it has been included uh, in many ins insecticides uh, for long time in ancient time uh, nicotine has been used as an insecticide uh, uh, an ingredient of the insecticide because at higher concentration it can kill the insects, most of the insects. Nicotine acts on nicotinic acetylcholine receptor. That means it can bind uh, to the, uh, our neuroreceptor uh, uh, through the acetylcholine. In small concentration it increases the activity of these receptors, among other things leading to an increased flow of adrenaline. Why people become addicted? Because small quantity of nicotine uh, the during smoking when people take then adrenaline hormone uh, the uh, neurostimulating hormone uh, is released and it makes them uh, you know addicted and the nicotine structure you uh, uh, need to remember this structure it contains three nitrogen uh, atoms and this is a very simple structure uh, among the alkaloids I suggest you to memorize this structure and based on the nicotine containing tobacco billion dollars of business are going on the uh, tobacco industry like china uh, brazil india united states in uh, indonesia turkey greece argentina italy pakistan uh, they are the leading uh, top 10 countries uh, which are uh, doing business on nicotine based tobacco industries, cigarette industries. But in our country also, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, British, uh, uh, Benson and Hazard's British uh, company, uh, they are also producing tobacco. Do you know why tobacco is produced in Bangladesh? Uh, Chuadanga, Meherpur, that area is very famous. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, although they have uh, lots of, you know, side effects in our health, health hazardous, even though uh, tobacco companies are doing the business all over the world. Nowadays in movie uh, and the, uh, you know, uh, drama, you can see there are some uh, uh, alert that is tobacco uh, is poisonous or it kills you or like that. But even though uh, tobacco is a fashion, uh, smoking is a fashion and many even rich people also, rich to poor, all strata of life, uh, people use the tobacco as a, an, a, a, as a drug. And it should be, you know, for health, it is very hazardous, uh, even if someone takes tobacco, other uh, uh, no, uh, uh, people who around uh, the tobacco smoker also affected equally. So uh, it is health hazardous, it should be banned, but uh, even though many countries, uh, most of the countries, tobacco is, uh, smoking is uh, legal in a restricted place. Anyway, and uh, now the most important uh, 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 or interesting point is how nicotine is biosynthesized uh, in tobacco plant. Very interesting point is that nicotine is biosynthesized in the plant in two pathways. One is uh, from the aspartate, Asper, uh, asparagine, you know, uh, uh, one very famous essential amino acid, another is ornithin. So ornithin and aspartate both uh, uh, are the uh, starting point of 
biosynthesis of nicotine. Uh, so uh, you need to uh, 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 remember this biosynthetic pathway because if I ask you a question how uh, you know nicotine is biosynthesized in the tobacco plant uh, the steps you should uh, have to uh, write and it is uh, one of the very uh, famous and commercially used uh, uh, alkaloid in the world so please go through uh, this biosynthetic pathway here are the enzymes for example aspartate oxidase convert aspartate into alpha amino succinate and then uh, quinolinate synthase convert alpha amino succinate to quinolinate so all the enzymes uh, here you can find their uh, full name and uh, this is a simple uh, pathway and please go through uh, very carefully and now I would like to discuss another interesting point uh, nicotine uh, uh, containing tobacco plants are almost free from most of the uh, insects but uh, some insects uh, are specialist herbivore a uh, specialist uh, you know eater of tobacco for example menduca sexta here the spelling is uh, menduca menduca uh, uh, menduca m a n d u c a menduca caterpillar can eat the uh, tobacco leaves and they have uh, some special capacity uh, to uh, detoxify the effect of the nicotine nicotine and uh, uh, in their saliva uh, they release uh, amino acid conjugate fatty acid uh, fatty acid amino acids conjugates uh, here are several steps of uh, uh, you know uh, the reaction taken place when um, menduka uh, sexta uh, uh, caterpillars are eating uh, the uh, tobacco leaf how reactions are taking place and obviously nicotine uh, when it uh, does not work to stop the uh, menduca sexta caterpillar uh, plants also produce uh, some uh, ethylene burst and other as uh, jasmonic acid burst and other compounds to attract the uh, you know uh, the predator so that predator uh, birds can come and eat the caterpillar so caterpillar also adapted to eat the uh, tobacco leaf and here is the explanation please go through this one but most important uh, uh, point learning point here is uh, name the specialist herbivore of uh, Nico uh, nicotiana attenuata uh, Nicotiana attenuata is a wild tobacco plant which is eaten uh, very uh, pretty well by the Menduca sexta. Uh, please go through uh, uh, these steps. Uh, I shall discuss another uh, important uh, group of uh, alkaloids called piperidine alkaloids. And piperidine alkaloids historically uh, very famous because uh, uh, piperidine alkaloids uh, contain poison hemlock. Hemlock, have you heard about? Obviously, you heard about the hemlock uh, 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 produced by the conium maculatum plants. Uh, and hemlock uh, is very uh, important, uh, uh, you know, uh, neurotoxic substances found uh, uh, in poison hemlock and yellow pitcher plant. Uh, it is a neurotoxin which disrupts the central nervous system. For example, conine. Conine is a, uh, you know, neurotoxin, uh, uh, toxic substances which affect the central nervous system. It is toxic to all classes of livestock and human. Less than uh, 0.2 gram uh, is fatal to human, can kill the human uh, with death caused uh, by respiratory paralysis. Uh, actually, uh, you know, we are now facing a, a dangerous respiratory disease called COVID-19. But, uh, you know, hemlock uh, as well as conine alkaloids are also paralyzed the respiratory activity of the human if uh, taken uh, around uh, 2.2 gram or like that. Conine paralyzes muscles in the same fashion as curia. Symptoms of paralysis occur within uh, half an hour. 
and death may take several hours. So, conine alkaloids are dangerous neurotoxin and it present in uh, st uh, strychnose uh, toxifera plants also. So, uh, 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 in, uh, it appears that uh, to have an addictive effect when uh, uh, pigs, goats and cows uh, have started to eat the uh, leaves of this plant they become addicted and have all shown a preference for conium containing forest. It is also conium containing forest grass uh, up to the point of eventual death. So they become addicted and uh, uh, finally uh, they die. A useful trick to determine whether a plant is poison hemlock rather than fennel, uh, how, uh, you know, both plants are, leaves are similar, uh, uh, the poisonous hemlock plants as well as fennel, but uh, you can differentiate uh, by crushing some leaves and smell the results. Fennel smells like uh, an icy or licorice, uh, 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 you know, smell, whereas the smell of the poison hemlock is often described as mouse-like or musty-like, uh, you know, smell, mouse-like smell. Uh, so, uh, uh, crushing the leaves uh, and getting the smell, you can easily differentiate whether the plant producing hemlock or not. And uh, this is the, you know, a artwork, uh, the death of Socrates. Uh, as I told you, hemlock uh, was used to kill the uh, great philosopher Socrates. And this artwork, uh, uh, Jax Lewis David, uh, 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 you know, uh, in 1787, drawn this way. Here is the Socrates and others are uh, his, you know, disciples. In ancient Greece, hemlock was used to poison uh, condemned prisoners. The most famous victim of the hemlock poisoning is probably the Socrates. Uh, after uh, being condemned to death for impiety in 3, uh, 399 before the birth of Christ, Socrates was given a potent solution of hemlock plant. Uh, Plato described Socrates' death in the Phaedo like that. He walked about and when he said his legs were heavy because uh, 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 hemlock was uh, used uh, as injection in the uh, legs, uh, so legs become heavy. Lay down on his back for such uh, was the advice of the attendant, the attendant who injected the hemlock. So advised when leg becomes heavy, then uh, uh, allow him to lay down. Uh, the man who had administered the poison laid his hands uh, on him and after a while examined his feet and legs, then pinched his foot hard and asked if he felt it. He said no. Uh, then after that his thighs uh, and passing upwards in this way, he showed us that he was growing cold and rigid. That means poison is going upward from the uh, leg to thigh and then uh, the body and body is becoming cold and rigid and no sensation. And again he touched him and said that when it reached his heart, he would be gone. Uh, to this question he made no reply, but after a little while he moved. Uh, the attendant uncovered uh, him, his eyes were fixed. That means Socrates was uh, died by uh, the hemlock. So you can imagine how a natural product can be so lethal and deadly for the human. Uh, some people, uh, you know, uh, in uh, the uh, herbal medicine industries uh, and many, you know, people who are advocating the herbal medicine, they always say that herbal medicines are uh, not toxic for the human they have no the side effect but you can see hemlock like poison can, can kill the human so uh, you have to understand the chemistry which molecules are uh, the active ingredient in the herbal medicines 
so side effects are associated with the uh, you know the molecule not the uh, whether it is the source of herbal or synthetic so uh, biosynthesis of conine uh, conine is biosynthesized from the uh, you see uh, amino acids and uh, this uh, you know uh, biosynthetic pathway no need to memorize but you have to understand is conine uh, also biosynthesized from the amino acids so uh, uh, there are various kinds of piperidine alkaloids this is another kinds uh, 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 that is uh, you know conine also piperidine alkaloids uh, after tropane alkaloids we are talking about piperidine alkaloids uh, conine and many other piperidine alkaloids at least please remember one uh, you know uh, piperidine alkaloids because you may be asked to write the structure or uh, draw a, the structure of a piperidine alkaloids conine structure is simple you can memorize it or alpha uh, conicine or uh, uh, gamma conicine or like that so this is uh, all about today's lecture uh, if you have any question uh, i shall uh, 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 be happy uh, to answer your question so let us discuss uh, what i uh, talked today so you are advised to uh, ask the question uh, and share your thought so who who is asking question those who are asking question uh, please unmute yourself and then ask the question Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Naima Tuljinan. Yes, please ask the question. This, sir, uh, nerve gases poisoned hoi ji atropine er juno. Sir, atropine er part er oi point rek to problem chilo. Man, you took to boost the pain. Yes, they are poisonous because when uh, they are bind with the acetylcholine esterase. Then uh, they work on the, you know, uh, very quickly move to the uh, brain and, uh, you know, uh, make the people uh, unconscious <laughs> or like that. So uh, it, it, the main important yes. point is they bind with the uh, uh, neuroreceptor, acetylcholine receptor, and then uh, it functions. Thank you. And any other question? Okay. Sir, Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum Salam. Hello. Hey, name bolle prashna korba. Sir, Assalamualaikum. Sir, Sab. Waalaikum Salam. Sabrina, sir. Okay, Sabrina, uh, you are welcome to ask question. Sir, um, I have a question about this alkaloids. Uh, uh, we have gone through almost uh, seven and eight alkaloids already. And the main thing I have noticed that um, most of the alkaloids are poisonous. They have side effects. Uh, they are mainly uh, um, for uh, anti drug we can use. Sir, uh, is there any alkaloids that may um, help in like that we can use as a drug or something like that that have beneficial effect in our body yes uh, 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 i mean alkaloids i told you uh, for example atropine uh, atropine uh, 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 alkaloid as well as you know hyosiamine hyosiamine uh, alkaloids has you know very beneficial uh, effects uh, for example i can show you There are lots of alkaloids are, are being used as the medicine uh, in the modern medicine. For example, hyosiamine. Hyosiamine uh, 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 is commercially available as Cymex, uh, Anaspas, uh, Cystospas, uh, or Lepsin. Lots of uh, commercial brand name. Brand name. They are, uh, you know, uh, works uh, as, you know, gastrointestinal disorder. If you have gastrointestinal disorder like ulcer or spasm or irritable bowel syndrome or pancreatitis colleagues 
cystitis, uh, then uh, this hyoscyamine is very effective drug which is discovered from the Datura stemonium plant. Uh, uh, you know, uh, even uh, uh, morphine, uh, as I discussed before, morphine is used uh, as a, you know, painkiller. If no painkillers in this world is uh, effective uh, to stop the pain, but morphine is very uh, effective. And in some cases, those people who have a serious neuro disorder and pain, uh, which cannot be stopped by other medicine, morphine is suggested. So there are lots of alkaloids uh, 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 we shall discuss later on. There are some alkaloids are very powerful anti-cancer drug uh, we shall discuss later on, vincristine, vinblastine. They are a very powerful, uh, you know, um, anti-cancer drug and commercially being available in the market. So alkaloids, Thanks. not only the toxic, but also uh, they are great medicines. Okay, any more question? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Please ask a question. Sir, I want to ask a question. Sir, thank you, sir, for your speech. That was a good. My question is. Who if is speaking? Uh, someone... Please tell your name. Yes, sir, I am Faisal Mahmood. Okay, Faisal Mahmood, please go on. Uh, sir, my question is, uh, if someone inject the alloy accidentally, so what would be the antidote of the alkaloid? Oh, yeah, it is difficult. It depends on which alkaloids are uh, being uh, uh, injected. Uh, you know, all alkaloids uh, structurally are not same. Their receptor in human body are also, uh, receptors are different. So depending on the alkaloid, uh, there are some antidotes already uh, available in the market. Uh, uh, people uh, even, you know, uh, different uh, poisons, for example, snake poisons. Uh, they are also peptide uh, alkaloids as well as poison of the uh, you know, uh, insect, insect like uh, uh, wasp, wasp poison, also uh, one kind of peptide alkaloid. So in that case, there are specific, uh, uh, you know, uh, antidote, not uh, a common one. Uh, so in that case, you have to ask the doctor and tell uh, what alkaloids accidentally been injected. But uh, uh, if a dose is, you know, recommended one, uh, then it would not be too uh, too terrible, but if dose is most important, remember that uh, in natural products dose makes the poison. So if a hyper dose is used, then it it takes very long time uh, to recover, maybe several years to recover from the uh, medicinal or uh, you know chemical toxicity to recover. Thank you. Thank you, Faisal. sir. Any other question? Assalamu alaikum. Muaz? Sir, yes, sir. I have, uh, thank you, sir, for your uh, this presentation, sir. I have a question uh, in my mind that uh, if we uh, collect, if we collect the cells of plants that synthesize, biosynthesize the uh, uh, alkaloids or valuable, uh, valuable chemical chemicals and we culture them in laboratory, if it is possible to uh, synthesize, synthesize these chemicals in laboratory, then it would be uh, more, uh, more It economical. is an excellent question. Uh, Moaz, thank you very much for an excellent question. You know, uh, uh, to get the natural product, uh, the ancient time we used to uh, uh, collect the huge amount of uh, plant materials to extract the chemical and it was the indigenous style of extracting and getting the uh, commercial product but nowadays 
nowadays you know uh, cell culture uh, please unmute uh, mute yourself uh, uh, when you are not talking uh, nowadays you know in biotechnology cell culture is the uh, best way no need to cut the tree or plants you can uh, uh, select the uh, cells uh, which are producing or biosynthesizing the particular uh, secondary metabolites uh, and then you can culture in the laboratory like microorganism uh, in like an industry so cell culture cell prolif proliferate and you can uh, you know induce them by changing the pH temperature and other parameters in the culture condition or even the nutrient you can change the condition and stimulate cell to biosynthesize your interested uh, compound at higher quantity and then you can uh, centrifuge the cell and extract compound from that cell so it is uh, 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 very very you know popularly being used uh, in many developed countries to uh, get the uh, bioactive natural products from the uh, plant origin and the, uh, uh, biotechnologically what we can do we can express uh, the gene uh, of biosynthetic uh, uh, biosynthetic gene of a particular plant and then we can do the cell culture no need your land no need the environment in the culture uh, condition in a room uh, you can uh, get the higher amount of compound so uh, by using genetic engineering even in the natural uh, cell culture uh, 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 you can harvest the compound uh, you know you can repeat it uh, uh, several times and get the more compound as you need uh, but you know uh, another point is it, if compound structure is simple then people can synthesize in the laboratory synthetic chemist but if structure is complicated uh, impossible to synthesize and if it is very expensive to synthesize in that case cell culture technology uh, is very very popular thank you very much a nice question any more question assalamu alaikum sir assalamu alaikum sir uh, okay jahid please <clears throat> So we know alkaloids, uh, some of the alkaloids are poisonous to human in uh, uh, large doses. And uh, sir, has, uh, has there been any attempt to use these as herbic uh, herbicide or insect, uh, insects or other pests? Or if they can be used uh, and uh, if they can be used to, sir, um, in uh, genetic engineering to produce resistance against plants or crops? Uh, yes, this is a very nice question. Uh, yes, in case of, uh, you know, insecticide, nicotine uh, has been uh, used as an ingredient of bio, uh, you know, insecticide uh, since ancient time. Uh, but there are some, you know, alkaloids, they are allelopathic, even uh, destructive for the other plants. They are also being used as herbicide. Uh, and you asked whether they are engineered or not. Several plants uh, have been engineered to produce, uh, you know, toxic alkaloids, even nicotine. In the literature, there are lots, but commercially, you know, genetic engineering in Europe totally banned. Many countries, uh, they are not uh, 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 acceptable by the consumers. This is why it has a, a, a bit restricted. Uh, and, you know, uh, insect, uh, has also uh, arm race mechanism. They have the mechanism to de detoxify uh, the alkaloids, as I mentioned, Menduca sexta. Uh, this is why uh, the barrier produced by a particular secondary metabolites to protect the plant is not so, uh, you know, uh, robustly uh, useful. This is why not uh, so uh, 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 being uh, seen in the practical market, but in the literature lots of engineering works have been done so you can browse google scholar and find lots of literature there thank you very much jahid any okay, other question assalamu alaikum sir md saiful islam oh okay saiful islam please ask question as you mentioned before that some alkaloids are 
beneficial for our as a health as a drugs or something like that uh, but the, um, for extracting those alkaloids is there plants are available in the nature or uh, raw materials are out, come outside from the from our country uh, yes in in case of you know in bangladesh we have very powerful pharmaceutical industry uh, but most of the raw materials uh, of the pharmaceutical industries are coming from outside although we have many medicinal plants in our country so uh, extracting uh, the medicine uh, medicinal principles from the local uh, herbs in our country not yet been uh, you know practiced this is a, a, a drawback but uh, uh, you know our country is a, a small country uh, medicinal plants uh, if you want to get tons of you know uh, uh, dry ma materials uh, for a particular plant uh, it is uh, difficult because we have not enough land and uh, 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 it would be highly competitive from our food crops so in case of bangladesh uh, uh, most of the uh, pharmaceutical industries they are getting raw materials from other countries but uh, we can also do cell culture as well as in the roadside or fellow land we can uh, commercially potential plants we can cultivate and we can uh, develop our cotton cottage industry like you know supply of raw materials to the pharmaceutical industry but in bangladesh uh, unfortunately uh, this trend has not yet been established but uh, if you see uh, the hamdard and some other herbal uh, medicinal industry they are also exploiting local market and they have the local uh, you know own medicinal uh, garden a plant garden and they are harvesting from them so uh, uh, not in the modern pharmaceutical drugs but uh, classical uh, ayurvedic or uh, uh, drugs uh, we have the uh, industry uh, several industry for example hamdard very big industry and they have a university also thank you very much for a nice question thank you any more question i can see tasmina you are attending the lecture can you hear me please uh, uh, unmute your uh, speaker and yes yes sir. thank you i got so just uh, 50 minutes ago i got the line internet line and then i i, I have joined here so have but you I, enjoyed I, the lecture i'm trying to join here but need to yes sir i mean doing it is really interesting excellent last class i have i didn't attend excellent so i can see uh, total uh, 20 students are attending unfortunately some of the students they are missing my lecture today uh, uh, they are possibly uh, unable to get uh, the uh, get co connection to this uh, you know meeting uh, internet uh, 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 for the uh, students who are living in the rural remote area it is really pity and i feel uh, uh, sad for them but uh, we have to continue uh, somehow uh, any question from any other student Assalamu alaikum sir uh, this is Ali Arman uh, Ali Arman Ador please no sir uh, my question is sir is there any alkaloid that are used in fish or uh, domestic animal or health purpose uh, yes uh, in case of fish uh, you know uh, fish poison fish poison for killing the you know uh, uh, how to say rakushemas uh, 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 in the pond uh, people use the, uh, uh, some uh, alkaloids uh, do, do you know the name of that alkaloid rotenone yes rotenone so, yes rotenone is used uh, rotenone yes rotenone yes. and there, there are several you know fish poisoning uh, you know alkaloids uh, uh, available and we shall discuss later on some of the examples as some, many of the students are from the fisheries back, background that would be very nice thank you thank you sir yes sir any more question
many of you are attending audio yes if you attend uh, in audio only can you see the slides yes sir we can see the slide excellent excellent this is most important because uh, uh, I, I, I have no problem uh, to see you in uh, audio or video uh, the most important is whether you can get my lecture uh, uh, clearly or not by the way how many of you uh, enjoyed uh, the you know uh, uh, my last lecture uh, which was uploaded in the uh, youtube because uh, 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 that was the first lecture so starting at uh, uh, 5 or 10 minutes or you know no uh, meaningful uh, uh, information but later we had meaningful information and i hope uh, uh, this type of approach uh, that means uploading the lecture in the video anyone from anywhere uh, anytime you can see and repeat uh, seeing the lecture watching the lecture and get the information the lecture yes yes Is, uh, was that uh, interesting yes sir to me yes, it is Yes, sir. Last, sir. So sir. Last lecture, I missed it. Also, sir. Okay. We are enjoying it, sir. Ah, excellent. Ah, uh, if there is no question, then uh, I should uh, say all of you, uh, thank you very much. And uh, I shared with you the student's name as well as uh, their mobile number, email address that I received from the. Dean Graduate School. If there is uh, some changes, your mobile number is changed or email address is changed, please uh, notice me through the Facebook group. Any question? No. Uh, if no question, then no, sir. I, I, thank you. Okay, thank you so thank much you. Uh, for attending the meeting. And uh, I hope uh, we shall. Oh, by the way, when should be the best time for uh, the lecture? Is it uh, 7:30 evening or 10:20 uh, in the morning? Because in the routine, uh, uh, 20 minutes past 10 uh, in the morning uh, is uh, which one is uh, best for you? So for me, both is, is okay. Sir, Which time is the best we'll for you? Sir, we will discuss it on the Facebook group then. Hmm? Sir, we will discuss it on the Facebook group. Uh, please Facebook discuss group it on the we'll Facebook we'll and before, you know, Sunday, please decide. Then, uh, uh, you know, uh, I shall uh, we'll uh, inform you, sir. continue. Inform you, sir. Thank you very much. Please uh, stay uh, safe and okay. healthy uh, in Thank this you, COVID uh, 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 pandemic period. We have an another class biology. Okay, bye. Chemistry in Monday, 11 a.m. Sir, Moji, say something. Sir? Sir?